guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Walmart makeover. You want to explain your low energy? My low energy and my swollen eyes and my crazy eyes is due to the fact that I went to bed at 4 a.m. because I'm experiencing jet lag. I just got back from India. If you haven't been watching my IG stories, well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Anyways, I just got back from India. I did a really amazing charity work as well as a masterclass there. Subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to know more about that. It was an amazing trip. However, there's a 12 and a half hour time difference. And now I'm supposed to be asleep right now. And I went to bed at 4 a.m. And now I'm like <laughs> dying a little bit. That's what's happening today. There's a cat hair on my nose. I don't like craziness because today is a Walmart makeover video. So we're gonna be doing outfit, hair, and makeup from Walmart. So I'm gonna take you with me to Walmart. We're gonna pick out all these things. This video is not sponsored from Walmart, but if Walmart wants to sponsor me, girl, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna jump into the video starting with makeup then we'll do hair then we'll do outfits So girl, let's sing the subscribe song and jump right in. Don't spray me <laughs> Subscribe to my channel before you leave Subscribe All right, let's jump right into the video Hair department out here. I'm not sure what that's about but uh I get no <laughs> But we're going to Walmart, my friends. We going to Walmart. We going to Walmart. We are looking for an outfit here in Walmart. Um, right now we are in the loungewear department, so we're gonna have to head. Ha ha! Here's the day clothes. Oh, they got some cute jeans, girl. Okay. Let's have a look. See here. It looks like these are high waisted. I don't like those. Why? Those They're $7. Those, Those are too really blue. blue. They have the light blue and then the dark blue. So light. Oh, they're black girl. Let me some black jeans now. Just got out of the shower and I figured this would be appropriate so I could good. actually get ready for the video if that makes sense. Never mind. It looks like crap still. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, you have a scratch right over your camera, Erin. A scratch. But I think I'm gonna pick out these jeans right here. Black. Oh, the shirt department. We're struggling. We'll see what this is gonna look like. For shoes, it was a little bit of a struggle because there's a lot of house shoes and slippers and like everyday sneakers. So I think I'm gonna try the black pointy toe flats as well as. I normally wear a little bit more of a higher heel, but these nude shoes I think could re look really nice. Maybe. We will see. Alright, jewelry it is, honey. So we are looking. Oh, these hips are cute. $288. That's what I'm talking about, Walmart. Not playing games. place of makeup and I'm gonna try to buy a couple things that I don't normally use or haven't used yet. The matte bar, this looks like it could be cute from Maybelline. Yeah. So we'll try one of these. One of these. Oh, I haven't tried this. City bronzer, yes. And then this highlights like the best. Um, this Physicians Formula Butter Eyeshadow Palette looks really cool, so I'm gonna pick up one of these. Why don't you get fake lashes as well? Okay, where are those at? I think this is concealer from Revlon. I think this is some new stuff. Yeah. Right? So I'm gonna try this Candid. The Glamouflage, which I think I've tried this a long time ago. Whenever people say I woke up like this, like this is what I mean by I woke up like this. So we're gonna start with makeup. Bought a full face of it at Walmart. The majority of the makeup I bought is stuff that I have not used before so we can play with new makeup. The first thing I really wanted to try was this hydrating balm stick from Wet n Wild. Um, I have a full face of Wet n Wild coming up. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to experience that with me. Oh, this feels so good and I think it's because I'm exhausted but I could rub this on my under eye all day. It feels really moisturizing and not tacky. So that's interesting. It's like I just put chapstick all over my face. Love that. I think I've tried this, but I think it's been years. This is the Old Free 16 Hour Wear Glamouflage 
Full coverage foundation from Hard Candy. Hard Candy is just never talked about. Is it because they don't send PR? Like why? I don't know. I'm making accusations. <laughs> like I'm not saying that's why. I'm just wondering like if you don't interact at all with influencers. Is that why? I don't know. I'm here to use it. This, what I remember this smelling like is paint. I'm using a lot today because girl, it's it's been a, Yesterday I flew for 24 hours, so it's it's been a moment for me. I'm gonna take my M6 brush from Morphe, which is a flat top kabuki, and I'm gonna blend this out. By the way, the shade that I got is 1508 Olive. They did not have a nice shade range, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know. It was not good. Not much to choose from there. I'm dabbing this out. The shade um, seems to work okay for me. And it does seem to be, it feels kind of heavy on the skin, the foundation, but it does seem to be like really full coverage. So I'm digging that. A concealer I have not tried yet is the Candid by Revlon. I got the shade 01 Banana. I'm really excited to try this little guy out. I literally went to bed at 4 a.m. guys because I couldn't sleep because jet lag was just like being really rude to me. It happens though, it happens. Okay, the conceal is applied, time to blend it out. And I always just use the same brush, the M6 from Morphe, to blend it out. It's just like easy, it's there. It's already got a little foundation on it so it helps everything blend out. Girl, why aren't you on silent? Well, um, this concealer, it feels a little bit heavy but it seems to be covering really well so I'm liking that. I do like the shade banana that I got on. It, it, it looks pretty. It's very brightening, if you can tell, which is perfect for today. For setting powder, I did pick a product that I've definitely tried before. This is the Stay Matte from Rimmel. Yes! Um, actually, I, instead of buying one, like this is, I made sure that this was sold at Walmart. I just pulled it out of my collection because there's no point in me rebuying something that I already have and wasting money. Although this is like two bucks, I think, and I could always use a backup, but I was just like, girl, I already got this. This is an E3 uh, powder brush, and it's kind of tapered so it's nice to apply the powder with but stay matte from rimmel is like gosh this product's been around forever and i really like it it's a, it's a great product so i kind of just set the concealer areas a little bit heavier like going in back and forth and then the other areas on my face like i'll just lightly dust it around why you just meet me in the middle song has been in my head I was I had a layover in Beijing China and <laughs> they were playing that song why I don't know and it's been in my head since yesterday so we're dealing with that over here all right we are set it it's time to forget it and I'm really excited to try the next product because it's the city bronze from Maybelline they had different shades I got shade 300 Ooh. It looks really golden. It kind of looks like MAC Give Me Sun. But I haven't tried it on my face yet. M530 is the little brushy poo I will be using. I may have bought this in a shade that's a little warm. Actually, it looks really beautiful. This reminds me so much of MAC Give Me Sun. We might have a dupe alert on our hands, guys. It is just like a hair warmer than what I normally use, but I think it'll still look really pretty and glowy. I typically don't use Matte Give Me Sun until I'm like really tan. Um, I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, can you see it's a little warm for me. So we'll do a little additional blending. Oh my gosh, it's really warm. Okay, I'm like slowly but surely turning. She's just gonna be like a sun kiss queen today and that is just what it is. So to dilute this, I'm gonna take the same bronzer brush and I'm gonna tap it into the powder and tap that around because honestly shade 300 is a little much for me. I should have got the shade below this. Oh Lord have mercy. I don't think it'll look that bad. Like once I get everything else on, I think we'll be okay. Blush for blush. I got third base. That's the shade name. This is the Maxi Blush from Rimmel London. I almost picked up another one, but I saw this last minute and I was like, gosh, this just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna take the same brush. This is like a really faint color. So you just gotta layer it up. It looks like a little bit. blushy so I'm super bronzy I'm super blushy today and then for highlight I will do that at the very end because as you guys know I like to frost the cake 
at the end. For my brows, I've used this product before. They didn't have NYX there, which I'm really liking that brow pencil, but I got the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. Actually, Erin went and picked this out for me. I said, go find me a brow pencil. Like, that's your mission. And she went and picked this bad boy out for me. So, if I remember, it is a little bit of a waxier pencil. It has a lot of pigment to it so far, so that's good news. Oh, uh, by the way, this, like, girl, the nails are a mess. So what's happening today is I'm getting my nails done at 4. And I'm getting my brows done. Benefit's coming by at 6.30 to do the brows. So it's going to be a really good day. On this perfect day, nothing's standing in my way. You know what? This brow pencil, the this one specifically, is... Pretty freaking nice. Like, I'm digging it. Like, my brow looks pretty good. Do my brows need waxing? Yeah, I got a lot of excess hair. But besides that, like, the actual pencil's really nice. So, I'll take it. <laughs> brows are planted onto my face. And I picked up two eyeshadow palettes that I thought were pretty cool. I got this one from Physicians Formula. Sultry Nights. Palette looks so pretty. It also smells quite heavenly. Here she is. Then I got the matte bar from Maybelline and glad I picked this one up because the Sultry one doesn't have a lot of mattes in it. I'm gonna take a R39 brush and I'm gonna take this tan color. Ooh, it's pretty. And I'm just gonna blend. Oh my gosh, look how pigmented that is. Wow, come on through Maybelline. Ooh. Ooh, she's not playing games. Said, oh my god, I always have trouble with drugstore mats. And Maybelline just said, hold my beer. This is blending out pretty good too, I gotta say. So, having some good luck here. Wow, that looks really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. Next, just to build up a little bit of color, I'm gonna take these two shades and mix them. And I'm just gonna deepen up that corner right there. And I'm also going to go ahead and run it across the lower lash line. And then lastly, I'm literally just going to take a freckle. Girl, just a freckle of the darkest brown. And I'm just going to tap it right there just to deepen it up a hair. Okay, and then this green shade right here, let's swatch it. Ooh! Okay, that's what we're using. We're using green eyeshadow today. It's been a minute since I've used green, so it's just what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna apply this with an M224 brush. I did dampen it just a little bit, but if you can see, it's like extremely pigmented. Oh my gosh. I seriously love this color green. Okay, to keep the party moving for mascara, I picked up one of my favorites. This is the L'Oreal Paradise, uh, Lash Paradise, I should say. It's so good. Did I, oh my God, what did I do? What color, girl, what color did I buy? How the hell did I buy a pink mascara? Oh my God, oh Okay, well, pink mascara, so that's what I'm not gonna use today. Why? Like, why? <laughs> so I just so happen to have one in black in my drawer. I'm praying this isn't waterproof. Okay, here I go applying the black mascara. For lashes, I'm gonna be using some of my favorites. These are the Double Up Wispies from Ardell. I'm gonna take this light shimmery shade out of this palette here because my brow ball needs a little pop. And I'm also gonna apply just a little bit of it in the inner corner as well. Now I'm going to apply some of this mascara. I have to look down to do this guys or else I get it everywhere. Like I have to. I'm just gonna hit these Ardell's with just a little bit. I never do this if I'm wearing the Lily lashes, but with these, it looks really good. So I picked up this hard candy highlighter and it had this really cute, they had two sets of them and this little highlighter brush looked really good. So I picked it up and I really wanted to use this gold shade. Yeah, it's pretty. Like I thought this kit was really cute 
and really pretty and this brush is like a great highlighter brush like no jokes yeah it's really nice too these are like baked filling so they're really loomy, but they're super lightweight. Oh my god, this highlighter kit, girl. Okay. This is really nice. So I definitely recommend this to you. Granted, I haven't used these two shades. This would be too light. This would be pretty, and that would be really pretty. Okay, lastly for makeup, and then we'll move on to hair, is the Milani Matte Satin. This is Amour. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then for setting spray, I bought the 12 hour illuminating setting spray. They had a bunch of different ones. So I'm gonna set my face with the Sheer Envy setting spray. Oh, I really like the mist on that. Okay, the makeup part is done. I think it looks really beautiful. So now we're gonna jump straight into hair and we're gonna fix this craziness. The first thing I'm gonna do is brush out this hair. Girl, I let it air dry last night. Big mistake, big one. So now I gotta brush this madness out. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to do my low bun. I did show you guys like last month on IG story how I do it. I figured I'd do it for a YouTube video. This is like a go-to hairstyle for me. If I wanna look put together and look good, but don't have like 100 years to spend on perfecting my hair. So first things first, I'll part it right down the center. I have cowlicks on my hair. What you'll wanna do is get a little spray bottle and wet your hair, especially the roots, really well. But if your hair is already wet, you can just part it down the middle and skip this step. Then I'm going to rebrush the water through the hair. Picked up at Walmart some of the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. So this is just a mousse, and you'll wanna use a mousse or a really, good hairspray. So I'm gonna put some in both hands, hit it right at the part and work the mousse in. This is how we're gonna get the hair really flat to our head. And then I'm gonna brush through one more time. Try to get it as smooth as we can. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hair just with my hand. And I'm just gonna start brushing and it's gonna get lumpy right here. And then once we get a lot brush out, I'll take all the lumps and pull them back into my hand. I do use the Whey Finishing Cream instead of Mousse sometimes, but that's not a Walmart product. So obviously I'm using the Mousse, which works just as well. Basically I'll go back and forth. Come on little gray hairs coming back through to haunt me. Smoothing the hair, smoothing the hair as much as we can. When I feel like I've gotten it really smoothed and down, I will go ahead and tie the hair up with a rubber band. Preferably tie it up really tightly so it doesn't come loose. And then I will pull it to tighten it even more. And then I just picked up this Frizzy's, oh lord, we done popped the top. This Frizzy's hairspray. I almost sprayed myself in the face. Sprays. I swear I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and I'm going to hit the top one more time to ensure that it's gonna stay in place all day. I'll especially hit the front of the hair right here. My hair cowlicks. If you can tell, I have a really big cowlick right here where my hair goes up, and then right here, my hair lays flat. So my front part of my hair is never like perfect. Like, um, that's just because I have this massive cowlick and I've had it since I was little. Then I'll take the frizzy part of my hair, which I left dry, and I'll twist it and then pull it together in a tight bun. You can secure it with a bobby pin. I'm gonna secure it with a rubber band. You can use either. And then if you have little neck hairs, I'll just hit them with a little spritz. I'll take like a spoolie and run them up. And there is our easy peasy, super sleek hairstyle. I think it looks really nice, put together, really pretty. And yeah, so that is that. And now we're gonna move on to the last part of this video, which is the outfit. All right, this is the outfit. So I paired it with the tan heels, which guys, these heels are so comfy. I feel like I could run a marathon in them. So these heels are not too high. They're like a good length to wear to work every day. I feel like they would be really comfy. The jeans turned out seriously so freaking cute. Like. 
I am living for the jeans. The jeans are amazing. I'll definitely wear these more. Then I ended up finding just a plain white t-shirt and tying it in a knot to kind of accessorize it. And then I don't know if you guys remember this necklace, but this is the long necklace with the big gem on it. And I ended up just doubling it up and breaking the gem off because I thought I didn't like the gem. Um, and I think it looks a hundred times cuter like this. Like it looks like a high-end boutique necklace. And then these are the hoop earrings that I picked out from Walmart, but I feel like I dressed it up with the jewelry and the knot and the heels. So I think this is a really cute Walmart outfit. What do you guys think? So happy Yoshi made an appearance in it. Of course. It looks good. Yeah, what do you think, Ty? I like it. Yeah, it looks really good, huh? Yeah. But you could wear this to brunch, you could wear this to meetings, you could wear this to church, you could wear this wherever I feel. And if you wanted to put on some vans with it or something, I feel like this you could totally make it a little more casual with like some sneakers or something. Like, I'm in it. In my opinion, I wouldn't assume you got this from Walmart. Yeah, I think it looks really Give me that girl. <laughs> okay guys oh the sun looks good on you it looks really good so guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching my walmart makeover i love you guys so much please subscribe to this channel before you leave and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and i will see you all in my next video bye guys